Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williamson with Pippin'sPlugins.com, and in this episode 6 of Plugin Thoughts, I want to talk to you a little bit about helping out with the WordPress community. Here's one little way that you can contribute uh, based upon what you know, what you've learned with WordPress as you work with it, as you develop more and more plugins. Um, one of the things that you will come across is you will find uh, entries in the WordPress codex, the function reference, which is what I'm looking at right now, that are lacking. You'll find ones that are not explaining things very well or that have very little example. So one of the ways that you can help out a lot, typically the normal way that people describe helping with WordPress is contributing to core. Well, that's a lot more complicated than, say, some of the other ways. And this way, Helping out with the codex is a great thing that you can do to help the WordPress community. So I want to show you a little example that I did this morning. I was working on a, uh, an addition to my Restrict Content Pro plugin to add in a live user search for one of the admin pages so that when you started typing in the username, it would automatically pull in a list of all of the users that match that name. And because I wanted to keep with core WordPress functions, I wanted to use the function called get users, which is right here on this codex page. And the get users function is pretty cool. It allows you to say the role that you want to do, uh, that you want to search for, the fields that you want to return, user login, ID, etc., who you want to include, exclude, etc. So it's a great function that's that's pretty powerful and lets you do a lot of things in terms of the WordPress user base. So what I needed to do was actually search for users that started with something. So let's say that our username, the, the end username that we want is John Doe. Well, I would like WordPress to be able to return that user by the time that I've typed in J-O. I want to automatically pull in John Doe, Joseph, uh, Joshua, etc. Pull in all of the users that automatically match that. And to do that, I can actually use the search field uh, in the get users function right here that we see. And if we scroll down a little bit, we see that the search says, use this argument to search users by email address, URL, ID, or username. Does not currently include the display name. Well, the, what I was finding is that this search field only worked if I entered the entire username or the entire email. Well, that wasn't any good because then I might just I might as well just tell people, hey, enter the full username. But what I wanted was to provide a live search. So the example that we see on this page is very minimal. All it does is it says, here's a way that you can retrieve all basic subscribers and display them in an unordered list. Well, that's pretty pointless, actually. I mean, it's very unhelpful for what I did. So I decided to go look at the WordPress source code, and we um, this function is, is defined in users.php. So we do a quick search for get users, and we find this function, and we see that it is referencing the WP user query. So let's do a search for WP user query. And now we can actually scroll down and see how this function works. Now it might seem really, really complex to you and it might be beyond you, it might not be. But regardless, we can go through and we can kind of get a basic idea of how it works. So we're only looking for one thing. We're looking for search. We want to see how that works. So let's scroll down until we find something in here talking about the search. This is basically just setting up a really advanced SQL query. So we go down and here it is, we find search. So basically, all it does is first just sees what is your search query, and then we see, hang on, there's something called leading wild and trailing wild, and it's an asterisk. So what does that mean? Well, really what that is, it's, it's actually showing that this is a wild card, that you can specify a wild card search. So you could do jo asterisk, and that's gonna pull in every user whose username, ID, or email matches J-O. So John, Joseph, Joshua, et cetera. All of those are gonna be fine, except this is not referenced in the codex at all. So this is the point that I'm trying to get to. When you find something like this, first of all, you should explore core if you don't know if it works or if it doesn't work and you wanna find out. But second, when you find something in the codex that isn't updated, but it's clearly there and it's clearly possible, Go update it. So this morning, I added a couple examples to the codex for Git users, just explaining how you can use the Git search field um, or the Git users with the search field. And I accidentally said first name and last name, which needs to be corrected because it's actually only the username, the ID, and the email. But still, I just went in and very quickly, in less than five minutes, added two more examples. And having these examples in here would have saved me probably two hours of time that it took me to finally figure out that, yes, I could do these wildcard searches. So 
help someone else out the next time that they're looking for a way to do a wildcard search by adding in the examples that you find on these missing codex pages. Or if you find an example that is wrong, go correct it. It's really easy to do. And let me show you how. You go to your codex page. Actually, let me log out first. You go to the codex and let's return back to this page. So here we are on this page. And there's the thing that says codex tools, log in. And this is your WordPress username and login for wordpress.org. So we simply log in. Apparently I can't type my own password. Still can't. There we go. Okay. So now once you're actually logged in on this page, you'll notice that there are little edit links next to description, usage, parameters, etc. So I just went to the example section, clicked edit, and here it is. Now I can edit this entire section, add anything I want. I can show the preview. So this is what it's going to look like. And then if I want, I can go ahead and click save page. And that's automatically approved and it's already there. So obviously you want to make sure that you're, what you're adding in here is correct because you don't want to be hurting other people, but it's so easy. So when you find something that needs updated and you know how to update it, take a few minutes, help out WordPress a little bit, help out the community and add to the codex.